Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, January 2nd, and today I'm going to be working on some Etsy orders I had come over the holiday and a wholesale order, so I thought I'd bring you along. Okay, so I printed all of the shipping labels, and last night when I was watching um, a movie, I went ahead and wrote out everyone's thank you note ahead of time, and then I just wrote what they ordered on here so that today could go a little faster. Um, with me putting together the orders. The only bad thing I ran into um, was that I ran out of my mailers, but, which is uh, obviously terrible planning. I should have had these in stock, but I didn't. So I ordered them actually yesterday, so they should be arriving tomorrow. So for the orders that um, still need to be shipped out, it's fine. They don't have to be shipped out yet anyways, but I'm going to go ahead and write their thank you notes ahead of time and also kind of do what I was doing here with writing out what they have ordered so that I can make sure that if it's like a sticker, I'm not out of stock and I can print those and just have everything ready to go for tomorrow. <music> Okay, so what I was just doing, I was just putting on um, the shipping labels and this little yay sticker. Uh, if you saw my video um, on how I package my Etsy orders, um, you might have noticed that I've, I'm going to be changing up some things. Um, I had a couple, a few complaints about how maybe I was wasting um, packaging and supplies and stuff like that. So moving forward um, what I've been doing is just I'm still including this little yay sticker I still think it adds something I I would like to see something like that in the mail um, especially when you're getting something from Etsy it gives it more of that handmade personal touch to an order so I've still included that and obviously I have to include the shipping label um, I used to include uh, two do not bend little stickers one on the front and one on the back um, and really all I was doing is I was just using one of my thermal labels that I've already had and just cutting those up so I really was just using one sheet of sticker paper and it would last a long time but like I said I guess I am trying to reduce some of that waste so I chose not to include that because I'm still using my backing boards on top of the rigid mailer so I think like you really aren't able to even bend these when they get shipped so I think that's okay um, and then I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to be doing how I've changed um, the inside of the packaging I've pretty much just um, I've chose not to include business cards anymore I guess I'll just show you now um, I ran out of these so I've chose not to reorder but it pretty just had pretty much just had my logo on it and then on the back it just had you know where I'm located on the web like my website my Etsy shop where you can get in touch with me via email and then my um, Instagram handle um, but on my thank you cards it already has my logo website and Instagram so I thought that was enough and people can always contact me on um, online like on a conversation on Etsy or my website too there's a contact form so that's some ways I've reduced um, some waste so all right, I'm going to continue packaging these now.
Okay, so a lot of these are sticker sheets that actually don't have printed yet. So all the ones left in pink, I am printing and cutting out now. I just finished packing um, packaging up these orders um, the only difference from my last video is that I've been trying to use up these shop small stickers from Etsy um, they were for they were given to us for free for um, shop small um, I think uh, American Express sponsored it so they were giving out some free stickers so I've been just using those up on the back of these but that's it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed thanks